Hey guys, so interesting Boogie news. If you didn't know, Boogie was at one time one of the most popular Magic YouTube channels. And I would even say he was the largest in terms of subscriber. There is a very famous video of Boogie as his alter ego Francis flipping cards. that got millions and millions of views. Now Boogie was... I mean, he's facing this. So essentially, what happened was a shaman, who you see in the documentary that he that was made about him recently, was supposed to help him, I guess, like exercise or lose weight. And he was supposed to pay him, but he didn't. And the shaman was going to help organize Buggy's magic collection. But what the shaman did was he took the magic collection to a local game store and the local go game store immediately recognized it was boogie's collection called boogie and said whoa like boogie was like hey i didn't tell you to sell them and the shaman was like i'm selling your cards because i need to get money back for my reimbursement and then on twitter they had a dialogue and the shaman has now declared war on the city of fateville Glenn Whitman is the store owner. So imagine someone you don't know selling your magic collection and the store owner owner being grateful enough and uh, actually recognizing your collection and giving you a phone call and saying, hey, are you trying to sell your collection? This guy has your collection. And then being able to recover the collection is kind of insane, right? Um, so this was the fret to the citizens that belong to the city of Faithville and live within its boundaries. I wanted to let you know it's perfectly legal to steal money from anybody, which is the Flaming Star. The Flaming Star is the uh, shaman. You know, I think magic players are just really weird. Um, whenever I read, I'm mean, obviously it's the news, right? But it's just like, this is a shaman that gave Buggy psychedelic medication to hopefully help Beller break through his depression. But obviously he they met playing Magic the Gathering, right? Like you just wear, meet the weirdest people playing Magic the Gathering. So things are pretty bad. I, w I would definitely suggest that you stay away from these psychopaths. I mean, these shamans and whatever. I mean, I don't know, man. It is harder and harder to find like stable human beings who play magic that's why i only play magic with my friend group and that's it i really don't go outside my friend group at all because you know shamans and the spray paint i mean it, it's very very interesting uh this story right because in the buggy documentary not only did he meet shaman um the shaman individual he also met the uh, store owner. So everyone involved in this, right, has basically, yeah, everyone involved in it was in the documentary. So you can see exactly who they are, what they, uh, I mean, it, it's funny. And they're, and now they're fighting over magic cards because magic cards, unfortunately for Boogie, are, is the only thing that Boogie has left of value. They have stripped him of everything else. And for a guy to just be able to um, go there uh, is crazy, in my opinion, right? He went to Boogie's home, organized his cards. Then this first thing any Magic player did, oh, I'm going to sell them to a local game store. Local game store is like, nah, man, I am, I am uh, going to now take your cards. I'm going to confiscate these cards, right? And I am... Yeah, I'm going to confiscate your cards. And... Then I'm going to give them back to Boogie. Obviously, this guy's thinking, oh, he's got like $10,000 plus dollars of cards here. And he's going to get paid out. And maybe he even watched the documentary to figure out where to sell them at. And he decided, hey, I'll sell them to the same owner that Boogie sold them to. And not realize that he has, um, yeah, I mean, not realize that he has basically 
kind of entrapped himself because that collection Boogie had just seen, right? Which is uh, pretty uh, crazy, in my opinion. A lot of, um, yeah, a lot of this stuff is unbelievable if you really think about uh, what is going on right now. And Magic Cards being the only last asset that Boogie really has. And a guy just goes in, walks in, and tries to sell them to the same card shop Boogie just went to. It's like, N -n -n -n, I, I remember this collection, dude. This is Boogie's collection. Let me give him a call. Okay, I confiscated your... This is fascinating, man. I mean, number one, according to Boogie, the cards were never given as payment. But we don't really know that. I mean, the Shaman guy seems quite shady in his video. In the documentary, but I don't really know, right? Um, it's quite strange. Uh, it is quite strange. So, in terms of ma keeping your magic collect, don't let strangers into your house. Okay? Just don't let strangers into your home, in my opinion. It is not a good idea if they understand that um, that your cards are valuable, which this shaman did, then they're going to steal them because that's really what, um, I mean, they're so liquid. Now, most times they are not going to steal them and sell them immediately to the local card shop also featured in the place but I mean at the same time um yeah it's a uh, a bizarre and a very strange outcome for Boogie like did he actually pay this guy in magic cards did he not pay in magic cards what is uh going on here right so I think Boogie has to get his life together he's inviting very dangerous people obviously he's he, this is alleged that this individual painted those words on his, um, at first I saw it was Peltograft. I was like, oh yeah, that's funny, but it's, it's something else, which is not as good, right? Um, anyway, so Boogie's got to get his life together. I think his life is falling apart, and the very last thing he has is his magic collection of value. And that's like an emergency fund. And then you shouldn't let a random dude just sell them, right? On your behalf and then pocket the money. Because I think that's what he was trying to do.